Hi guys and welcome to a new tutorial. This time I'm gonna show you how I recommend you sending your song for mixing. So this is actually the intro song I use uh, on my channel. It's like this. So I've colored everything. Everything that has like drums in it is red, bass, orange, and so on. Um, also, this was one track, one MIDI track, and I split it up. Uh, so I have the kick and snare and clap on different tracks. I'm gonna show you how I did this. So this is just uh, in a Logic sample bank. So basically, I right click, uh, go to MIDI, and separate by note pitch. What happens is that Logic splits up the file. So here is the kick, snare, and clap. And you do this because when you mix, you want to have more control into your beat. I've also seen a couple of tutorials on YouTube where you get recommended to take off all your plugins and also reset your mixing here. And please don't do that because then you will change everything and the mixer will have to start all over. And I'm gonna show you here. Because if I play my track from here, I'm gonna turn off all the effects and you will see my point. changes it's not the same if you want a mixer to change everything you will get something back that you didn't make so don't take away any of your plugins the only plugins you can take away is on your master bus and that uh, here I have a tape plugin and I have a compressor but all the other ones I will use because uh, I like to think of it like I've tracked through these plugins. Like all these plugins are hardware and I want them to be printed. And also all the faders I want to be where they are at. I don't want to change it. The mix is balanced and I want the mixer to receive it like this. So what I do, I mark everything I want in the track and then I go to export all tracks as audio files. And then I find where I want to put it I create a new folder and I call it uh, stems. Create. Here I leave off the normalize. Okay. So. Now I have all the stems bounced out here. So I change all the MIDI tracks to audio tracks. Now it's time for mixing. So this is what is sent over to the mixer. So you can compress all this to a zip file and just send it to the mixer. Then what happens is he'll start a new project like this. And he'll get all your stems. And he'll drag it into his DAW. And he can start mixing. When I hit play. Everything is how it should be. And also, if you are the mixer, I will recommend you doing this. You get all the media information over to audio. So what happens, you will ease up power to the CPU. So the computer will work much more efficient. So this is my tip on how you prepare your mix. I hope you like this video and please subscribe and I'll see you in another video.